Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Defender Machine, and today what I've got you guys is a bit of a tip video, but today, whoa, 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 Machine, what's the game playing in the background, what we're watching, what you're doing today? Well, first of all, I've been going back and playing a few older Call of Duties as of recently, because Advanced Warfare isn't the most interesting Call of Duty ever, and I figured a lot of you guys like Black Ops 2, since the player count's a lot higher and that, so, in the game playing in the background today, you will be watching a 47 gun streak, but it's only the second half of the game, and I managed to get a nuclear, and the reason I'm uploading this gameplay as well, it illustrates what I want to talk about quite well today, and that is, if you can see by the title or the thumbnail of the video, the tips that I can best give you guys to get in the secret score streak within a Call of Duty or just a really high gun streak because I know a lot of Call of Duties don't have a secret score streak such as Black Ops 1 and this doesn't even have a secret score streak either but it has that sexy nuclear medal and every kill after the nuclear medal that you get with your gun is that sexier unstoppable medal. Alright so I can't exactly promise you guys that you will get these streaks for definite following everything I mentioned here because everyone's different at the end of the day but I'm just giving you good advice from a perspective of a guy who gets a lot of these streaks and gets a lot of them often like daily and stuff like that so I but since it's kind of like a fact, a frequently asked question this, how do I get these streaks, how do I do supposedly good on Call of Duty, I just thought I'd make a video today showing you guys how I do it on pretty much every Call of Duty and put it into one short tactical video so you guys can follow it and hopefully learn something from it. So diving straight into it, what I want to first tell you guys is ADS is the most important thing in Call of Duty and I can't stress that enough. If you don't know what ADS means, it stands for aiming down sights. When I put ADS into context, I don't just mean aiming down the sights, obviously machine, you're an idiot, just aiming down sights, nah. I mean actually benefiting aiming down sights like anything using like quick draw or stalker and just to clarify in the most recent Call of Duty Advanced Warfare stalker is known as stock the attachment but quick draw is kind of more obvious because it's a perk in one Call of Duty and then it's an attachment in another and it's just named the same thing so you guys obviously know what I'm talking about when I say quick draw. So yeah the first tip I just want to clarify for you guys there anything that can make you move around faster and aim down sights faster and move around whilst aiming down sights faster you want to definitely put that on but it's kind of a waste on SMGs if you can already aim down the sight pretty fast and you can move around aiming down the site pretty fast as well so I tend to steer away from that on SMGs but on marksman rifles like in COD Ghosts and assault rifles I definitely put stock and stalker on all my classes. It doesn't actually matter whether you use silencer or not because it just depends on how comfortable you are playing the map or using that gun and being confident that you won't die from getting seen on the radar when you're shooting your gun. So the second tip I want to give you guys is play a game mode besides team deathmatch because you don't want to get let down and get to the kill limit and be like one off your streak and be like oh I didn't get it that's a real big let down sometimes but if you're confident playing team deathmatch and you're confident with the flow and how many kills you're capable of getting go ahead be my guest go on there and shit all over everyone and shit on all the kids in the lobby but I personally like playing domination because you can actually predict where they're going to be and if you can see in this gameplay this is the reason why I'm using it I'm trapping them at one flag on the map because we've got two other flags and you don't actually need an awful lot of teammates to do this because I've only got one other teammate in the game and he's actually a real life friend so we can kind of communicate easy but it takes more than one person to get a flag it honestly takes more than two people as well to keep two flags on the map when there's a full team against us. Third tip I want to give you guys is kind of obvious if you're playing something like Modern Warfare 3 or Ghosts where you can get a specialist bonus or something like that use that but if you don't if you're on Black Ops 2 and stuff like that obviously you know to use the VSAT and know to use the UAV with threat detection like an advanced warfare because it just makes your life a whole lot easier because you can literally see every movement of all the enemies or most of them in that case because I know threat detection isn't constant but it sweeps and it's pretty good to use overall. Fourth tip I want to give you guys is one in terms of play style and this is actually a really important one for success in the game when you're just starting out getting your streaks or you're not that comfortable about moving around the map all the time and I'll admit I'm like this sometimes I don't always go balls deep in the middle of the map on the objective on the B flag on every game on Call of Duty on Domination but I tend to stick to the edge of the map most of the time just because it's easier for me it's easier to pick people off who are actually going for the objective and then that's more kills for me I can cycle my streaks it's all good in the hood the fifth tip I want to give you guys is an important one as well when you're running around the edge of the map or if you're doing the same thing constantly in terms of movement you want to try and switch that up a little bit because people when they see you on a high streak they will come down and they will try and beat your ass to the floor until you cry believe me I know this from experience because the amount of times I've died in a 29, one off a DNA bomb on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I just, I just don't even really want to talk about it. But that's besides the point guys, the point I really want to make here is make yourself the hardest target you possibly can. That means in Advanced Warfare, be that guy who slides and jumps around the map every time he moves and be that guy who won't constantly switches up his playstyle and rush routes because people will look at the scoreboard and go, hey that kid's not doing bad, what's he doing? Has he got some chicken soup or something? He's doing so good on the game, I might try some of that. Sadly that's all the time I've got for today guys, I will be making a bit of a longer video tomorrow because I'm going to try and upload daily until Friday and then kind of get the uploads back on the schedule it was after that. But first of all, before I end the video, I've ended it kind of early. What I want you you guys to do because we're getting close to 3k comment in the comment section down below what you'd like to see for 3k i can do a face reveal i can do whatever you want just comment whatever you want to see even if it's me fucking a rhinoceros with the sponge i don't care but thank you all for watching slap a like on today's video and a favorite if you loved it and i'll see you guys in the video tomorrow peace out